know, I love goosebumps. <laughs> Bye, guys. I mean, anyways, um, um, hi, hi, hi. Um, how are you doing? Today, two videos should be out today. Um, I am behind on schedule still. Um, I'm like, I, have, I still have free shorts that I still have to make. And another full-length video I didn't get to. It's a monster fright fight. So, there should be a Return of the Mummy episode review coming out today. If you're watching this first. And right after this, I'm recording Return of the Mummy. So, uh, yeah. Stay tuned. Um, yeah, um, I will have to move the videos. So, I'm not canceling them. I'm just have to move them to next month. So, just want to let y'all know that I am behind. And there will be a few more than plans. Like, there's actually not a lot of videos planned. There's a lot of shorts. Because they're actually... Next bump's gonna have a whole bunch of shorts. Ten, ten that are gonna happen because uh, I have something planned. After the twentieth, I don't think I'm actually gonna upload any full length videos. Yeah, twentieth. That's when I'm gonna stop uploading full length videos for not forever. I will start straight back up on June or I mean July first. So just wanna let you all know. So June isn't gonna be a busy month. It's gonna be sort of a cheat month. The first, the first three, the first two, the first two thirds are gonna be really busy and packed, and then it'll be just one short per day. And the short isn't gonna be very like overall exciting. It's just actually there's a countdown. Okay, there's gonna be a countdown to Gustaversary. So I just wanna tell y'all that less videos in June. So before we get into this, I'm gonna pull the pants because I'm I'm a fat ass. Oh. Y'all can't see my big belly, right? Like season eight. I'm like Steven Universe over here. I don't really know that show, but I think he has a big belly. We have a new Goosebump item. I didn't bother doing unboxing because too many videos, okay? Too many videos on my mind. We got a Goosebumps um, motion creature. I, I I don't know how I got this. I, it was a, I got a great deal on eBay. It was 27 bucks, and I just took it because... These things are expensive, you know. <laughs> so, uh, but I want to mention it's pretty banged up. I actually had to tape the top on because the top was it was no, I didn't have to tape it fully on. I just it was just opened, and the bottom was kind of bad, damaged, really bad. You can see that it's not the best condition. It's this will can be a good idea, yeah, yeah. Zoom in on that. It's not the best, but hey, twenty seven bucks. The next highest one is still opened, and it's just slightly better condition, and it's over a hundred dollars. So, don't y'all get mad at me. And there's another one on there for like less than a hundred. I might take it, okay? I might take it because I do like good condition things. This is just a thing I got, okay? And it still has the original price tag on there, and the other one doesn't. So suck. It used to be two two dollars and fifty cents. Can you believe that, guys? Okay. Sorry it took so long. This is going to be a shorter video anyway, so. Because there's only four seasons. Idiot! <laughs> Anyways. Let's actually get started on the topic. What are... What, what is my rankings for some seasons? This is an idea that I had, and I look at myself in, in the mirror and I said, Alex, are you a genius or are you a fat dumbass? And I looked at myself and I said, Alex, you're a genius in a fat dumbass body. Do it. <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to be ranking the Goosebump Seasons. This is actually a topic I've been wanting to do. Starting with worst to best, obviously. So, let's start. So, the worst Goosebump Season. Number four. Season four. Number four. <laughs> season four. That's five fingers. Actually. Number four. Season four. Because the thumb isn't a finger, apparently. I, I'm, I'm all against that, you know. I, I believe thumbs are fingers. Anyways. So, why is season 4 the bottom of the barrel? So, season 4 was the last season, and it only had 4 stories, but 8 total episodes, but they were, it was all part 1 and part 2, part 1 and part 2, part 1 part 2, part 1 part 2, and 2 of them weren't even that good. Deep Trouble, one of the worst episodes, yeah, I was in season 4. <laughs> Shrunk, how I Got My Shrunken Head, I do like that one, it's okay, a lot of people don't like that one. I think it's okay. Uh, one of the best ones, actually, like, actually one of my, definitely one of my top 20 favorites, The Ghost Next Door, yeah. And, uh, you ever want Crab the Cat? Mm. Stomach growling, guys, sorry. I didn't drink much today. Anyways, um, 
subscribe to the cat. I don't have a genuine opinion. Genuine opinion. Go watch my episode review. God, that, that's so old. I might have to remake it and just re-upload it eventually. I don't know. I like Cry of the Cat. I think it's a good episode too. But seriously, I think um, some of these episodes could have been shortened down to one, like, you know, 20 minute episode instead of 40, 44 minute special, you know. Yeah, it's just, I think the drag is on too long, especially Deep Trouble, since, you know, we all don't really like Deep Trouble. If you do like Deep Trouble like I used to, that's fine. I'm not saying it's not the worst episode because it's not the worst episode and i i don't i genuinely don't believe it's the worst episode it's gonna be in the top 20s it would be in the 20s i think it would be like 21 worst so when i when i do because i'm because I'm, I'm i'm actually confirming this when i do rank the whole series every episode every single episode even those even the um, trilogy trilogy or trilogy or trilogy trilogy and teacher's pet and haunted house game an old story strain piece all that it's all gonna be in there every single episode so yeah anyways number three <laughs> number three alex you big fat idiot number three season three <laughs> um honestly i think it got worse as it progressed ish kind of yeah, it, it got a little worse, but hold on, wait till number one, number two, you'll, you'll see with something a little different. Um, season three, now the reason why I put it up there is, um, well, let's, let me just explain this. Season three had no actual, like, physical, full-length Goosebump book stories. Ha it had, the ones we did get, some of them weren't even good. They were actually very bad. Like, they didn't do a good job on them, or I just personally don't like them. Remember, these are my opinions. I mean, I really just don't like some, some of the actual Boosman books they turned into episodes in uh, Season 3. They, some of them are not good. A few of them, I, I would watch any day, any time. But the ones that we did get that weren't, like, full books, that were actually some of the tales that give you Goosebumps stories... I, I, I don't like them. It has so many. Creatures, creature, um, Teacher's Pet. Not Creature, Teacher. Teacher's Pet. Haunted House Game. A haunted, the Haunted House Game. Actually, that's going to be my very next episode review after Return to Mummy. Stay tuned for that. And a few others. I think it had Horrorlands. Like, I hate Horrorland. I hate that one. That's one, of my, that's one of my top ten least favorites. And I love Horrorland books. Like, Anyways, yeah, I genuinely just didn't like a lot of things in season three. Now I know I'm saying more bad things about it than season four, but season four just had a lack of episodes. Okay, a lack of episodes. I'm talking about a lack of stories, and one of them is was very, very bad, very bad. What one of the worst? Sorry. So yeah, season three has a lot of better episodes and more stories. That I can watch. Some some episodes are good. There's more good episodes than there is in season four. I'm going based off episodes, you know. Anyways, number two, season one. Um, season one has some of the most iconic episodes. It has, I think it has, yeah, it has Night Living Mummy two. Where's the first one? <laughs> and it also has, Where a Fever Swamp. I mean, uh, I think it also has, sorry, my, my memory is very bad, uh, Say Cheese and Die, um, a few others, Welcome to Camp Nightmare, Welcome to Dead House, I think, I, I don't know about that one, um, The Haunted Mask, the most iconic, because it was the very first one, My Harris Adventure, okay, there's, that's, the, that's one of the main reasons why it's lower, I, like, 1%. <laughs> season one actually made up of a lot of good episodes so if you want to start goosebumps start from season one of course if you want to watch goosebumps just start start in order don't go from my little ranking it's like that again you're gonna be so confused when you're watching i believe number three four nine believe number two and you don't have to even read the book yet like what actually no you won't you can watch you know i'm i'm you know don't even take my advice just watch it watch the goosebumps series together anyways Finally, number one, we all know what this one is, season two. Now, besides from season one, we all know season one was made up of a 
a lot of good episodes. Hello guys, uh, don't mind me, my mom was outside, she's playing with my cat in the window. Anyways, back to number one, season two. Season two is my number one. Now why? When you go search it up right now, guys. If you don't even have Netflix, you don't have to look on Netflix, just search it up. Season two, Goosebumps. And you'll see, truth the bat, we have a bad hair day. Not a good episode, in my opinion. And... I'll Season 2 started off a, a few bad episodes, but then, you know, sh like, smacking, like, like, two-thirds in the way in. We we get hit with a bombshell of amazingness, which is Attack the jack o my second favorite episode of all time. And then, there's Han Mask 2, How to Kill a Monster, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. And, Say Cheese and Die Again. It uh. <laughs> and season two, I don't want to name every episode in there, but there is a lot of good ones. Now, there's less than season one, but hear me out, hear me out. These are very good episodes. These are better than the ones in season one. Even though there's less, they're better. Like, it's kind of like, um... It's kind of like, um, reverse psychology. The more the merrier. No, the less the merrier. <laughs> That's kind of how it worked. So, yeah. S since, since there's less in season one, there's more episodes, but there's less good ones. The, one, the good ones we did get were amazing. Not saying that season one is bad, because season one I highly recommend it for your first one. Season two, it has Night of Living to be free, okay guys? It's Night of Living on Me Free. You can't beat it, okay? Treat the bat. When, you, when I say Night of Living on Me Free episode is in season two, you already know that's going to be your favorite season. Uh, sorry, Night of Living on Me Free is one of my favorites. It is my favorite. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And time to show you my... Sorry, guys. I, 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 I've been watching too many videos. <laughs> anyway, see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye today!